Procedural modelling is an exciting new area of development for Modo, and in Modo 12 we're continuing to expand the available functionality. A triangulate mesh op has been added, which allows you to do non-destructive triangulation of models, which can be useful when exporting models to other applications. The merge mesh operator has been significantly enhanced. It can now read replicator items, allowing you to either non-destructively mesh replicated objects or export, or to simply perform further mesh operations on the replicated geometry. It can now also merge hierarchies of objects with a single click, and it can now read group items too. This means that by pointing it to a group, you simply have to add new objects to that group for them to be merged. Working with falloffs within the procedural stack, and also when animating, is now a lot more flexible. The shape of falloff items can now be edited using the gradient editor, allowing you to define an infinite number of possible falloff shapes. To complement this, there's now a new range of falloffs based on a falloff operator. This is a new node that allows you to rig falloff properties into any aspect of the scene. For example, the new weight map falloff allows you to control the falloff based on a weight map. The incidence falloff allows you to control the falloff based on the angle to another item in the scene. And the area falloff allows you to control the falloff based on the size of polygons in an item. But many more falloff types are possible.